I wanted to show you the hardware setup we're using uh, this time around. Uh, we've got the same liquid level sensor we saw in the previous video uh, in our main container, uh, but now we've added a couple of 12-volt uh, pumps and a liquid reservoir uh, in the back there, and so these pumps can pump liquid into or out of our main vessel. The pumps are controlled by uh, this set of relays, very similar to the industrial relays uh, we see in many of our plants, and we are using the uh, common and normally open circuits uh, on this relay. The relays are attached to uh, the same Arduino board uh, we were using in the last video. This Arduino is acting as our PLC. And from a PLC perspective, uh, we're using one analog input for the liquid level sensor and then a number of digital uh, outputs to control the relays and what's a PLC without notification and alarm. So we've got a tower light also connected to our Arduino PLC and we're switching the current to the individual lights uh, using a bit of a different setup than the relays. Here we're using uh, NPN uh, transistor switch. Uh, which work very nicely uh, in, in this application. Now the uh, Arduino is also hooked up to our LCD screen uh, that we saw in the, in the previous video, what's a PLC uh, without an HMI. Uh, but this time around, instead of powering the Arduino uh, directly, uh, we have it plugged into a Raspberry Pi. So the Raspberry Pi is providing power and there's a serial communication over USB uh, that's happening with the Arduino. Now the Raspberry Pi is also connected to the Amazon IoT service uh, via the Wi-Fi network. And that allows us to do all kinds of interesting things from uh, analytics and, and reporting, but it also enables some uh, new HMI paradigms that we're going to look at quickly. So in addition to the Raspberry Pi and the pumps, which are uh, the major new addition here, uh, we're also adding an Amazon uh, Echo Dot. This is the Amazon's Alexa service, which is similar to Apple's Siri uh, voice assistant. So the Alexa is also connected uh, to the Wi-Fi network, um, and there are a number of back-end cloud um, skills and code that are running to enable the whole solution from end to end. So with this setup, uh, we can do some uh, very interesting things, uh, and we're going to demonstrate some HMI capabilities now. Um, so for instance, we can very simply query the entire system um, by doing something as simple as Alexa, ask Rio Control what's the liquid level. The liquid level is 1.168 liters. And then in addition to just querying the system for information, we can also take control with our voice of various aspects. So I can say, Alexa, ask Rio Control, turn on red light. The red light has been turned on. Alexa, tell Rio Control to turn the red light off. The red light has been turned off. And you can see that my voice formulation, the sentence I used, were significantly different in, in structure for the on and the off. Uh, but the Amazon service has natural language understanding and processing and can thus interpret uh, the intent of what I'm trying to communicate and translate that in, into active code. And so we can even control the system more and we'll demonstrate uh, in PLC uh, language what's called an H. HOA uh, control, so hand or manual, off and uh, automatic. So I can say things like, Alexa, tell Rio control, turn pump on. Pumping liquid into the vessel. Okay, and now we can see that was manual mode and it's pumping liquid into the vessel. And if I say, Alexa, Tell Rio Control, turn pump off. Turning the pump off. So there we have a hand control or manual control 
demonstrated the auth capability. And now if I want to do something much more automatic, I can get uh, more uh, intelligent in my request. And I can say, um, Alexa, tell Rio Control to add 300 mLs. Pumping 300 milliliters of liquid into the vessel. And we can see the automated process of uh, pumping the liquid, measuring it, and determining when to stop the pump was all carried out via a single, uh, easy-to-understand voice command. Similarly, we can uh, remove liquid by going, hey, Alexa, tell Rio Control, remove 500. Pumping 500 milliliters of liquid out of the vessel. And there you have it. So that's a demonstration of a simulated industrial process with uh, Amazon Alexa voice control enabled and the industrial IoT come to life.